Hi, this is uh, Kevin. Welcome to my tutorial on how to read a grading feedback report for a practice assignment. Okay, so this is for a practice assignment, not a final assignment. And a practice assignment is just a regular homework assignment. Um, in the example that I'm going to go over here, uh, this is a coding assignment from my IS430 uh, course. That's a Python programming uh, course. And these practice assignments are different from final assignments because they have this uh, points score guarantee feature uh, that's not available on final assignments like a paper or a final project. OK, so let's take a look at some scenarios. OK. Um, oh, before we do that, let's just review uh, how the scoring works on one of these kinds of assignments. Uh, something that I went over on uh, in the uh, tutorial on how to read the grading rubric. Uh, so the typical uh, design I have for one of these uh, assignments is that there's a non-content uh, portion, which is uh, just the process of handing it in and following directions and doing it on time and all that kind of stuff. And then there's the content uh, portion, which is uh, the um, uh, uh, which is what you've handed in for each of the exercises. OK. And uh, typically, the non-content uh, subtotal is 49 points. So you can get up to 49 points uh, uh, before we consider the content that you handed in. Uh, 23 of those are base points. So if you hand it in and we, we accept it, uh, you're gonna, we're going to spot you 23 points. Uh, if it's on time, you're going to earn 16. If you if you followed all the directions for the naming and the submission of the and the creation of the file, you're going to get 10. Uh, the subtotal for that is 49. Okay, the subtotal available for the content portion is 51. Okay, um, and that's uh, divided into two parts. There are regular exercises, and there's a subtotal for them. That's usually 46. And then there's a challenge exercise, and that's usually 5. OK, so 46 and 5 is equal to 51, and 51 and 49 uh, add up to 100. OK, so the number of regular exercises varies from assignment to assignment. Uh, there are typically at least two. Uh, I guess there could be one, and it could be worth 46 points. Uh, typically, there are two or more. But there could be uh, five or six or seven. And I divide the 46 uh, points among the regular exercises. And then the challenge exercise is always worth five points. OK. And um, uh, we. Uh, we have a grading deal that covers the, the points for the regular exercises, uh, but it doesn't cover the, the challenge exercise. OK? And the grading deal is, is essentially this, OK? If you do, uh, if you show a good faith effort on all the regular exercises, and you hand it in on time, you get the timeliness, OK? Um, and you you do the file submission the right way, uh, you'll get an 85. If you hand it on time and, and you don't get the file points, you'll get a 75. And that means that we're subsidizing these 46 points that you earn on this uh, up to 36 uh, points okay and uh, again uh, you have to show a good faith effort on those regular exercises 
Okay, so that's how that goes. So what would be some examples of how uh, students might score and what would their feedback reports look like? Okay, so here's a uh, scenario one. Here's a student who got a perfect score. Um, they scored uh, perfectly on everything. They did the challenge exercise uh, and they got 100. So we go all the way to the bottom. Uh, you'll see that they scored 100 points. Okay, uh, 51 content points, 49 other points for a total of 100. Okay, and if you go through the uh, the details, you can see that they got the percent credit that they got for everything is 100. Um, typically, if you're getting all the points for one of these uh, sections, you'll see two uh, boxes. You'll see the percent uh, credit, and then you'll see the multiplication that, that uh, shows you uh, the points that you got. So the base points here were 23, you got 100% of them, you got 23 points. Uh, the timeliness, there were 16, you got 100%, you got 16 uh, points, right? So this is, uh, this is what a perfect score looks like. Uh, let's go to a more likely scenario, okay? Um, so uh, this is one where the student uh, did everything right, okay? No deductions for anything at all, but did not submit the challenge. Okay, so I'm going to predict that they got a 95. Okay, and let's go down to the bottom and look. Yeah, they got a 95. So the content points were 46. Those are all the regular exercise uh, points. They didn't get the five for the challenge exercise. Um, the other points, those kind of non-content points for 49, that added up to 95. Okay, and um, uh, one thing that you can get, and we don't put them on all of the feedback of reports, but you might get an overall comment. Okay, so right before this uh, final uh, block where we show you the calculation that went um, to uh, calculate your total points, you might find an overall comment uh, here, which means it's a comment about the assignment overall, not a particular exercise. Okay, and other than that, all the parts are the same. So let's look at scenario three, okay? Um, so uh, here's a student who, who had some problems with the file that they handed in, okay? So they got all 23 of the base points, okay? And they got uh, all 16 of the timeliness points, okay? But they lost half of the 10 uh, file points because their uh, file was not properly named, okay? Um, on exercise one, uh, they got 100% uh, of the points for completeness and technique. Uh, for exercise two, the same thing. Okay, for exercise three, uh, they didn't submit the challenge exercise. Uh, so what did we got? Well, uh, we got 46 content points earned. That's, that's all the points for the regular exercises. Uh, the other points earned were 44. Uh, we lost five points for the file name. So uh, this student got a 90. Okay. And one thing that I didn't really point out is... Um, if in fact you miss a requirement, um, you get this miss requirements uh, box, uh, okay? And then the, there's actually a fourth uh, box that you can get. It's called other uh, comments. 
So uh, typically, if you don't get the points, if you don't get all the points uh, for one of these items, like files submitted, you should probably see uh, something under missed requirements or some comment under other comments. Okay, that's how you can kind of understand how we decided that we were going to give you 100% of the points. Okay, so let's look at another scenario. Okay, so this is a scenario where it's too small to read. Okay, so uh, this is a student who did good work, but they had several problems with the file and they lost all the file points. So they got the base points of 23. Uh, they got the timeliness points of 16, uh, but the file points, they missed all 10. And again, under missed requirements, you could see they've got two problems. Okay, so they didn't get any of those uh, points. And in this case, they got all the points for exercise one, and they got all the points for exercise two, and they did not submit exercise three. Okay, so what did this add up to? So 46 content uh, points, those are all the points available for the regular exercises. 39 other points because we lost uh, 10 uh, for the file, and so they got an 85. Okay. And let's look at a couple more scenarios. Um, now, uh, I'm going to show you a couple of scenarios here where a, a student uh, qualified for the grade deal. Okay. Uh, so what do you have to do to qualify for the grade deal? Uh, remember this. You need to submit on time. And you need to make a good faith effort on all the regular exercises. Okay, so let's see. Uh, got all the base points. Uh, got all the timeliness uh, uh, points. Uh, got all the file points. Okay, but then things went pretty much horribly wrong. Okay, so they made a good try, but Apparently, they forgot some parts of this. Now, this doesn't really relate to the real assignment. So if you go back to the assignment and look for parts one and two, you're not going to find it. Okay. But uh, uh, they missed two of the requirements. They only got 25% of the credit of these 11 points, um, which meant that they got 2.75 uh, points. And then on the uh, technique, well, it looks like they got uh, all of the points. Okay, so they just uh, forgot to do some part, but th what they did, they did the right way. And then they had the same problem with exercise uh, two. So they missed, uh, they forgot to do parts A and B. And here you can see the comment uh, block. So we've got uh, at most, four blocks that uh, show up. Uh, we've got missed requirements. We've got the choice for percent credit. We've got the calculation for the points earned. And then we have these other comments. Okay. Uh, and then the technique was uh, fine. And this student did not submit exercise three. So how did they do? Well, we finally see a situation where uh, the algorithm here awards extra content uh, points in order to make up for um, make up for uh, problems that uh, that they had on the regular exercises. So uh, the student only earned twenty nine point five content points. Uh, we added 6.5 that brought their content points up, okay? They earned all of the non-content points, and this got them an 85. So, again, if you hand it in on time and you uh, do a good job on the file, okay, 
uh, and you make a good faith effort on all the regular exercises, then you're guaranteed to get an 85. If you mess up the file, then you would get a 75. Okay, so let's look at another scenario. Uh, here's a student who needs even more uh, great help. Okay. Um, and I'm going to, uh, when I get to the bottom here, I'll talk about the implications of having gotten some great help. Okay. Okay, so we didn't uh, talk about that on the last uh, scenario. So, um, student uh, got the base points. Uh, got the time on this points, got the file points, okay? And then things went completely off the rails. You know, they made a good faith effort on exercises one and two, but perhaps they didn't understand, okay? So things went badly, okay? So they only got 25% uh, of the completeness uh, points for exercise one. They only got 25% uh, of the technique points and the same thing for exercise uh, two. Okay, and I, I just kind of randomly checked a bunch of missed requirements uh, to kind of explain why the student got so low of a score. Okay, uh, they didn't submit exercise three. Uh, they got an overall comment. Please consider attending lab sessions to get help with your work. I think that would be a good idea here. So on the regular exercises, they only earned 11.5 uh, points. Uh, okay. But we have, uh, we have awarded an, an additional 24.5 points to bring the, the total up to uh, 36. And they had earned all the other points, the non-content points were 49, so that gives them an 85. Um, the reason I have this deal is just to give you the courage to uh, to do this and hand it in on time, uh, okay? The only thing you have to remember here is uh, this, all right? You're not going to get this help uh, on uh, final assignments, right? So whatever went wrong here, you need to figure it out. It's great that got that you got the 24.5 points, okay? Um, and I think it's a fair deal for everybody, okay? It's just that you've got to find a way to get more points uh, by the time you get to the final assignment because there won't be this kind of help um, on the final uh, assignment in this uh, of course, the final assignment is a final project. Okay. Okay, just one more scenario or two. Uh, lateness. Lateness can sink the ship here. Okay, and I, I wanted to show you a couple of late scenarios. Uh, so here's a student who's late, and they've got a couple of problems. Okay, now... Remember, if you're late, you don't qualify for the grade deal, okay? So the combination of late and problems is a disaster, okay? So here, they got the base points. Uh, they didn't get the timeliness uh, points, so they lost all 16 of those, okay? Um, they lost half the file points, okay? On, um, on exercise one, they got all the credit. On exercise uh, two, they got all the credit. Uh, and they didn't submit exercise three. So let's see what happened. Uh, they got all 46 of the content points. They didn't need to be awarded any more content points. But they got they got hurt on the non-content uh, points. They lost 11 of those. Okay. Uh, so what they've got is a 74. Right. So uh, as soon as you're late, you sort of open yourself up to these these uh, uh, really 
less uh, favorable grades. And then the last one I'm going to show uh, really comes off the rails. Okay, so here's a student who handed handed this thing in late, and then they had big uh, problems uh, in the content of the work that they submitted. So they got the base points 23. They didn't get the timeliness, so they lost the 16. Uh, they did okay on the file, so they did earn the 10. Okay, but then when we get time to exercise one, uh, it's come off the rails. They're only getting 25% uh, for completeness. They're only getting 25% uh, uh, for the technique. Uh, then we have the same kind of problems uh, with exercise two. We got 50% for the completeness. Um, we've got 25% uh percent for the uh, technique uh they did not submit exercise three uh and this is a tragedy right because they were late they didn't get these they didn't qualify for the grade deal right so we didn't bring up this uh, content point score um they only earned 33 of the other points uh when rounded, they just got 47 uh, points, which is a mess. Okay, so uh, uh, here's the uh, here's a lesson uh, to be learned, right? Um, uh, always, always leave yourself the time to make a good faith effort on all parts and hand it in on time. If you're going to be late and, and you have a reason for it to be late, uh, some kind of a, a, a valid lateness excuse, well then uh, contact us on the, um, on the service desk for the course and uh, request an extension. Okay, that'll that'll save you on the uh, timeliness, right? It, because uh, you definitely want to have it in on time, and you definitely want to make a good faith effort on the, all the regular exercises in order to qualify for the grading deal. So even if you totally misread the stuff, okay, uh, and it, and it just went completely haywire. Uh, you're going to wind up with an 85 or a 75 if you botched the uh, file. Okay, um, I hope that helps. Any questions, please ask me in class or lab. And I'm going to say bye until next time. Bye-bye.